Hi, I'm Chris Anderson at the EU Web Tech Lab, and today I'm looking at the Murata SN8200 Wi-Fi Network Controller Development Kit Plus. The SN8200 is a Broadcom-based 802.11bgn Wi-Fi module that provides easy internet connectivity for your serial devices. It provides the necessary protocols for communicating and controlling them over the internet. First, I'm going to show you how to get it set up and connected, and then we'll look at some of the different features it has. The SN8200 is a complete wireless solution on a module. It includes an ARM Cortex M3 based controller, as well as everything you need to set up a wireless network, which makes it perfect for applications such as a standalone web server or for other things such as uh, smart medical and fitness devices, uh, home automation, or industrial control and monitoring. To get set up, pop the CD into your optical drive. You'll have a couple different options with this development kit. The one that I want to show you today is the Easy Web Wizard. That would be the SNIC EWW. There's a quick start guide here that can help guide you through the process as well, but I think this video will make it a little bit easier. So install this SNIC EWW package, and by default that will install to C colon slash SNIC, which I already have here. From here what you'll want to do is install your drivers, and you'll want to install obviously for the appropriate OS. Once that's finished, you go ahead and connect your device. As it's installing the drivers, you may see a dialog down here that pops up and says some devices weren't properly installed. If that comes up, go to your start menu, right click on computer and click on properties, and go to your device manager. Now if you had some devices that didn't properly install, you'll see them listed here under other. There'll be an, an other category. Uh, what you can do is you can go to that other category, expand it, and pick all the devices that didn't properly install. Obviously this one's already properly installed, but just to show you the process, you go to Properties, Driver, and Update Driver, and you'll want to say Browse My Computer and point it to C colon slash SNIC. Just hit Next and it should find the appropriate driver. So once that's done, uh, the next thing I did was go into Tools, SNIC Monitor, and ran the setup application. This top setup application just calls the second one. So feel free to run either one, it doesn't matter. Uh, once the SNIC monitor is installed, you should get a shortcut on your desktop or in your start menu. And we can run that. This is how you load firmware onto the module. So you'll want to go down to file. You'll, you'll see right now it says disconnect. So go to file, connect. This debug command and log will show up. Uh, and you'll see that it now says connected. Click on the big C on the toolbar, and this is your firmware configuration. And if you need to load firmware, it comes preloaded with the Easy Web Wizard firmware, but if you need to load uh, a different firmware or, or reload the same firmware for any reason, just click on the Browse button. It'll bring you to, by default, this directory, at least on mine. Uh, select the firmware you want to load, open, click load, and you should be good to go. But since mine's already set up, let's go ahead and connect to it. So come down to your Wi-Fi connection and select the Murata WS41741C. I believe this will vary from unit to unit. Uh, I think there was something about the MAC address being a part of this uh, SSID, but go ahead and connect to it. Once that's connected, open your web browser of choice and in your address bar type in sn8200.com and this is the local web interface and so right now we are connected via Wi-Fi this is not a USB connection the USB right now is only serving uh, as a power connection for the device it could be externally powered just as well right now but you'll see it, it's it's created its own access point so that's one of the benefits here so this is the web interface for it. Uh, and you can go through here and, and you can kind of click through this different interface, these uh, different tabs and see the different functionality. The first thing we're gonna do though, is we're actually going to connect the SN8200 to the EEWeb Wi-Fi. It'll say result, result join pending, allow 10 seconds. So give it a few seconds. Then go ahead and click OK, and you'll see that it says we're in the network. We 
can leave the web, we can get the signal strength, negative 44 dBm, so pretty good signal. Obviously the router's pretty close. Then what you can do is you can say configure the IP and get IP info. It'll, it'll pop up and say result okay and then click on get IP info. It'll tell you the IP of the Murata device on the EEWeb network in this case. You can control all this functionality from the same interface when, you're, when your computer is connected directly to the Murata. The other benefit here is that once it's connected to a network, what we can do is we can go to the IP that was provided and you'll see that we have the same interface. So I don't have to be connected directly to the Murata's access point. I can connect it to another network and I can access it that way. So now I can come in here and I can control the various functionalities. The configuration that's loaded on there right now only provides the GPIO demo through a, a, a connected client, I guess. But we can still come in here, we can configure, say, pins six and seven to be output, push-pull, configure those, and actually we'll set one to a one and the other to a zero. So we'll configure that again, write the GPIO, now we'll read it and you'll see the one that's a one pops up in green to indicate that it is a one and the one that was configured as a zero pops up in yellow to indicate that it's a zero. There are additional functions available. So if we connect back to the Murata, and we pull up that same sn8200.com. Then we can come over here to the UART demo and you'll see the configuration for a UART device. You can pick your baud rate, uh, set it up just like you would set up any other UART device. And now you can start exchanging data back and forth with a serial device that's, that's connected to your dev board. There's also an I2C demo. It has a built-in temperature sensor and humidity sensor, so we can read those and uh, give you an idea of the onboard conditions. If you need to reset the device, you come over here, you reset to the factory default. So all in all, it's a very capable system. You can see that it was very easy to set up the SN8200 as an access point, connect it to another network, and access all the serial communication and, and GPIO functionality as well. Uh, very easy to use, very easy to set up, and a very capable overall system.